In this video, we will start with revision exercise 9 of logarithmic and exponential functions. You will find this on page 433 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at, in this video, we look at the first four. So you can pause the video, stop the video, first do it. Or do one, continue, do one, continue, just as you wish. Okay, let's start with number one. Use logarithms to solve the equation. So they're very nice. They tell you that you must use logs. Okay, now you can also not do it with the expon exponents because the thing is the bases are too different. You cannot, if you can make this base to two, then it would be nice. But what we do, in other words, we take log on both sides. So it's 5 to the power x equals log 2 to the power 2x plus 1. Then I bring the x down. And then it's 2x plus 1 log 2. Then x log 5 is equal to 2x log 2 plus log 2. Okay, now I'm going to take it over. So it's going to be, um, I'm taking all the terms with an x over. So x log 5 minus 2x log 2 and that is equal to log 2. Okay, and now I'm just going to quickly take out x as a common factor. So it's going to be log 5 uh, okay, this is very important that you jump the 2 up. So it's going to be minus log 2 to the power of 2 because the x is out. Okay. And then it's log 2. And now I'm just going to, you can make this term. Okay, I'm doing it a little bit long. It's not necessary. Uh, use your rules. So this is the quotient. And uh, so it's going to be 5 over 4. And that's log 2. And then x is equal to log 2 divide log 5 over 4. And then I take my calculator and I press it on my calculator. Log 2 divide log bracket 5 divide 4. That will work. And correct to 3 significant. I will get 3.11 and that's correct to 3 significant figures as the syllabus states. Okay, that is number 1. Let's do number two. Okay. Now, number two, solve the inequality. So this is going to be 0 0.8 to the power x and 0 0.5. Okay. Now, again, I do exactly the same, although it's an inequality. I take logs on both sides. Just remember to write the inequality. Then take the x, um, the power that uh, rule down. Okay. And now, this is very important. I'm going to divide by log 0 0.8. So, actually, before you divide by that, just go and press on your calculator. Log, that you can see, yeah, this is a bit too small, 0 0.8. Now, if I press that on the calculator, I get negative 0. Point, I'm just focusing on that negative. So as soon as I divide by a negative, I know the inequality sign must swap around. So then x is bigger than log 0, 0.5 divided by log 0. 0.8. And interesting, that answer is also 3,11 correct to 3 significant. Figures. Okay, and that was number two. Okay, let's do number three. Given that, okay, so I can see the exponents is again there in the e um, air, can you say? So 5 to the power x equals 3 to the power 4 
y. Okay. Now they say given that, use log to show that you can reduce it to a straight line and find the value of the constant in correct to free significant figures. Okay. So again I'm going to put log on both sides. Almost like a, where I, a curve reduced to a straight line. Okay. Then I put it over. Take it over. Okay. And now I'm just going to, to, to get... Remember I wanted y equals. Y equals. So I must make... So basically I'm going to divide by... 4 log 3 and I divide by 4 log 3 and then I can swap the sides. So I have y is equal to uh, x log 5 divide 4 log 3. Okay, so if I really want to write it in that, and now remember that is my m. So my m is going to be that log 5 over 4. I'm just rewriting it a little bit. X. Okay. And there is my m. Okay. And then if I must uh, substitute, so I can say therefore, m is equal to log 5 over 4 log 3. And I can just press it on my calculator. And I will get 0 0.366 correct to 3. And they said, give you answer, correct to 3, significant figures. I'm just going to show you how to press this. So you just say log 5, divide, you can even say bracket. 4 multiply log 3, close the bracket, equals. And that gives you that 0 0.366. Okay. And then the final one for this video, and in the next video I will do the last two. Okay. okay. Let's do number four. Given that, okay, so there is A, okay, and now it's going to be 1 plus 4y over 3 plus 2 2 to the power of y is equal to 5. Okay. And then they go and they uh, go and say find the value of 2 to the power of y. But let's first go and cross multiply. Let's put brackets there. And then I'm going to have 5, 3 plus 2y is equal to 1 plus 4y. And if I multiply this in, I'm going to get 15 plus, don't, don't multiply the 2, that, that's different basis. You can make a dot there. 2y is equal 1 plus, you can make this 2 to the power 2y. Okay, now I'm just going to rearrange it. So because this is 2 to, I can rearrange it on that side. So 2 to the power 2y, okay. If I bring this one over 5, 2 to the power, can you see my trinomial coming on? And 1 minus 50, it's going to be minus 14. Okay, and now I'm going to factorize. Now remember, focus on this numbers and on this sign. So this is then going to be, let's just write, so this is going to be 7 and 2 and uh, let me, yeah, no, you focus on this number, sorry, because that 2 is the base. That number in front, sorry, just want to make it yellow, is a 1. Okay, so it's 1 and 1 and 7 and 2. And if you simplify that, it's going to be 7 minus 2 is 5 because it's subtract. And then this is just going to be this. So it's 2 to the power y, 2 to the power y. So I'm ending up with, okay, let's just, 2 to the power of y, okay, the size of this, uh, the size are different. The biggest overcross gets a negative and there's a positive. So negative 7 and the other one 
is 2 to the power of y plus 2. And that's 0. So if I put this equal to 0, okay, okay, I'm just doing it a little bit long. Then 2 to the power y is 7. 2 to the power y is negative 2. Now imagine if you want to take these two logs and you start swapping, you're going to have log negative 2, which is not going to exist, so reject. So you're just going to end up by saying, therefore, they say find the value of 2. 2 to the power of y is equal to 7. Okay. And then use logarithms to find the value of y correct to three significant figures. Okay. Now I'm just going to go on. So I'm just going to say, this is now number B. So 2 to the what part, okay, now because I didn't do um, change of base in this, it will be better to do this method, 2 to the power y, otherwise I can take it from exponential to log, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to take logs on both sides, that will be the easiest method for this syllabus. Then I divide log 2, and I divide log 2, and therefore... I get a press on my calculator and it's 2.81 and that's correct to three significant figures. And that's how you do the first four. In the next video, I will do the last two.